the new designer collection just hit Target and I was able to get my hands on a few of the items. I'm going to try things on and share with you how everything fits and what my personal favorites are. As an online personal stylist, it is always my goal to educate myself, try new things before I share it with you guys. Target is such a great place to get affordable pieces that are trendy and fun. They might not be something that you hold on to forever, but when you need something bright and new, it's a good place to go to. I actually have a piece from Target, I think it's maybe six years old, and I still have it from their designer collection with Philip Lim. And I wish I could just pull it out right now, but I have it by the way. Maybe I'll do another video later on in fall and winter with it, but I still style it differently and make it modern and new. And when I wear it, people actually think it is a high-end designer, but it's a Target piece. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm Tanya Bernadette and I'm a personal shopper and stylist at The Closet Edit. And I love sharing practical, functional fashion advice that you can take and use as inspiration and actually put into practice. If you enjoy this video, make sure to subscribe and you'll get notifications every time a new video drops. The first line I'm gonna share with you is by Kushni, which I wrote a blog post about maybe a couple weeks ago for people of color designers that we should be watching out for. And I had no idea that she was going to put her line in Target as well. So I'm really excited to actually try some of her designs on. Her thing is all about creating elegant, timeless, modern fashion for powerful women. And celebrities such as Michelle Obama, Ashley Graham, and also JLo have worn her pieces. This first dress is super elegant, but it can also be dressed down. You can wear sneakers with it and walk out the door, slip it on when you need to go somewhere for summertime and dress up, add a heel to it. It's super easy and I just love the price. I mean, it's 50 bucks. I can wear it so many different ways. Oh my gosh, I love this blue. Oh, this makes me feel like I want to go out again. And since I've had baby, I've only gone out once with my girlfriends and we had dinner. This is super cute. Again, very flattering on a lot of body types. I think that this is good, especially if you want to hide the belly. Has a ruching on the side. This is also a slip dress slash wrap dress. Although it's not a real wrap, so you don't have to actually wrap it. It just has a zipper down the side, but ooh. Super cute. And then this hem right here. What I like about this is I'm not really into the short skirt anymore. So this is like sexy and the short length that I would go with and feel comfortable with now. Um, but then I could just wear a blazer with it. Let's see if I've got one. And do this for work too. Well, actually, no, I lie. I can't do this for work. This has way too much cleavage. Sorry, I didn't realize that, but still got a blazer to wear with it if it gets cold. Yeah, um, yeah, too much cleavage. More, more sexy, good for going out. I was only able to order two items from the Kushni line at Target because pretty much everything was sold out. They had some other cute stuff, but I didn't really feel like it was my style. And what I love about this one, I think, um, more than the other dress that I tried on the two-tone dress is that this makes me feel a kind of sexy I haven't felt in a long time. I actually don't think I've considered myself sexy since before I was pregnant, so that was over a year ago. This dress is probably a really good piece to have in my closet. I don't have anything like this right now. Next up, I'm going to talk about Lisa Marie Fernandez, who is all about boho chic. She started her business in 2009 and started with swimwear. Well, actually she turned fashion editor to swimwear designer and she was one of the first to start designing with neoprene swimsuits. And then she started doing her boho chic styles that she shares with people that love to travel and want something that's casual and cool. And boho isn't my style completely, but I mean, it's summertime, so I do like to have items like this that I could throw on. And look, this one has pockets. I mean, who can resist pockets? What I really like about this is that it does come in the waist. I love pieces that come in the waist more. I'm not too much of a person that likes something that's really boxy. 
I also think these colors are really fun. The pink and the yellow and the white. It's something that I feel like doesn't really go out of style. You can throw it on any summer and just feel really good going to the market. You could wear it with a denim jacket and a cute pair of flats. You could do some colorful flats with this too. So this next piece is one that I would never ever choose for myself, but things were limited online. So I had to make some decisions on trying some new pieces. And I actually enjoyed this one better than the first one. And I thought that the first white dress, this one here, I thought I was actually gonna like this one more um, because of the colors and the style to it. But this is actually lighter weight. The other one has a lining to it, which it looks like it would not be hot, but I kind of got warm in this one. And this one is a sheer piece. And this is supposed to be the texture of it. So do not go through and try to iron this. This is what this is actually supposed to look like. Here we go. Here's the reveal. Ta-da! Oh my gosh. Right? So fun. You can just slip it on and you're out the door. You can go run errands in this. I would totally wear this one out. I love it. I could even wear it to work too. I feel comfortable wearing this to work. I feel comfortable wearing this to go run errands and be with the baby. And price point, I think it's definitely under 60 bucks. So, I mean, if it gets dirty, that's fine. I could just wash it. It's machine washable. And it has the pockets, which is always great. How cute is that? This one was a big surprise for me. What are your thoughts? Warning, these last two dresses are pretty dramatic, pretty ruffly, and a lot to take in. Uh, this one I actually thought I was going to like, and I put it on, and I feel like it has a little too much poof. So let me show you what that looks like. Dun, dun, dun. Look at that. It's a little, right? Am I right? It's a little too much poof. Maybe if it didn't have the poof here and here, it would look better. So I'm not a fan. Um, the reason why I chose it though is look at those button detailing. Really fun. I'm all about ruffles. I think ruffles are great. Uh, so I did want to try it. Something that also affects this dress is that the fabric is too stiff. It's too stiff. It's not very fluid. So it does make it poof out a little more than it should. And for something that you would just throw on and leave the house, it's not very practical because it's wrinkly. It gets wrinkly really fast. So not a big fan of this one. This one I actually like more. The fabric is different too. So that last pink one I tried on was cotton and it was super wrinkly, but this one is a linen blend. Look how much softer the ruffles are. It just lays on my body nicely. And because there's a lot of ruffles going on here, I tied this in a double knot instead of a bow. So it's not, there's not as much going on here. And what I normally do with my dresses when I want to belt it is I just put another belt with it. I think it looks more chic than something like this. So um, White House Black Market has great belts that have some stretch in the back and have a buckle in the front so it doesn't move and get out of place. But this one, I could see myself wearing. I like this. It's not as dramatic. This, I wasn't, I didn't see this online. It does have an extra bow up here. But if you don't like it, I mean, you could just cut it off. So see, you could just cut that off. You won't even notice and you can hide it. Um, I didn't even see that on the picture online. But besides that, I mean, this is a great one. Also for travel, really lightweight, has the pockets to it. I feel really stylish and put together. I'm not sure though if I would wear this to work. I don't feel comfortable wearing this to work. I feel like this is more of a casual piece because look at all the skin showing here. Um, yeah, so this is just casual or for fun, a girl's night out. And I love something I could dress up and down. And this one is super easy to do that. And there you go. Those are my top picks from the Target Designer line by Kushni and Lisa Marie Fernandez. Um, sorry, there was a lot of pink going on. That was all that was left from Lisa Marie Fernandez line, but she did have other colors as well. If you're lucky, you can still find your size. You might even still find some pieces in stores right now.
what were your favorites? What would you keep if you were trying some of these on? I would say this one is my favorite and that sexy blue piece. Those two I can see myself wearing a lot. My third would be the yellow checkered dress because I don't have anything like that at all. But I could see myself now that I'm a mom running around and going from work to being at home to running errands. I can see myself throwing that on and feeling really comfortable in it. And I would definitely add a lot more jewelry and some fun shoes to style it up. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. And if you want some more great content, you can always visit my blog as well at myclosetedit.com. See you guys next time.